Hello, this screencast is going to show you how to import data from Google Spreadsheet into Fathom and calculate the mean and 95% confidence interval for the mean. So this is some data that I would like to import into Fathom. And what I need to do is I need to download this document as a CSV file. And you should have a, an idea where your um, downloads are saved on the computer. I've just opened Fathom. And what I need to do is I need to import that file. So go to in File, Import, Import from File, and then select the CSV file that was just saved. Um, so it's right here. And it creates what's called a, a collection. And in the collection, we can see the data. You uh, go to Table, and it has the data that's saved. And what I would like to do is I like to estimate the mean of this variable and estimate the mean of this variable along with the confidence intervals. So I select estimate and then I select estimate mean. And what I do now is I just click and drag on one of the variables and drag it over to the estimate mean box. And as you can see, what it does is it, it calculates the mean and some other data, for example, the standard deviation and the standard error. Um, and what we're interested in is the 95% confidence interval. And you can see that the mean for this variable is 46.66 repeating. Um, but the 95% confidence interval ranges from 33.38 to 59.94. Um, and that gives us an idea of how confident we are uh, in, in that this mean is the actual mean for uh, the, the data. Um, and what you can do is you can compare the mean and confidence interval, excuse me, the mean and confidence interval between variables. So you can see here that the mean of this variable and this variable look distinctly different uh, for 46 to uh, 11. Um, but a good indication to let us know uh, if these means are uh, significantly different is to now look at the 95 percent confidence interval. As you can see that this, the range of this confidence interval is between roughly 9.9 .9 and 14. And then compare that to the confidence interval of this variable between which is between 33 and roughly 60. So you can see that not only the means different, but now we know that the mean, the both means are significantly different because the confidence intervals do not overlap. Thank you.